Okay, guys. So we did what we had to do. I've I made the changes necessary. And I think things are working out. So let's take a tour, a super quick tour. Uh, you saw me do this bridge over the, the entrance. So cars come in, they go down, and they have two choices. They can go into the industrial sector or they can come around here, go into the town. I've left the industrial center kind of separate. I added another ore mine, which is working beautifully. Uh, it's, it's actually coming along very nicely. Um, I made, I completely got rid of this area, but I left it open for development. I think, I think maybe I could do something cool down here eventually. Left this spot open for a port, a trade port if necessary later. This area can also be used for a trade port. And then there's this little corner back here that can be, uh, that's actually within the city limits for a trade port. Ta. I upgraded every single road to high density. So I think these are all medium densities. This might be, that's how, uh, is it medium? I don't know. So these are medium density, medium wealth. Here we go, some medium density, uh, low wealth. But either way, all the roads are high dense. I moved the um, police clinic and fire station up here uh, so they'd be closer to pretty much what they need to be closer to. The only thing is the fire does have a bit of a ride to get to the factories. Eh, I might throw in another fire station down here just for this area. I haven't decided yet. I was at one point when I had destroyed everything and I, and I put, uh, at, you know, I was on pause, but when I pressed play, I was running about a negative 8,000 an hour. I got down to, I think, 10,000. And then it slowly started, started to climb up because my, um, my mind started working again and I started making more profit. And now, look, I'm back to over a hundred thou. Uh, so yeah, I think this worked out pretty well. Traffic's a bit rough on the bridge, but I expected that uh, considering there's an intersection, I mean, right here. So, but that being said, I'm not that beat up about it at all, actually. Um, you know, crime is pretty. Low. I mean, let's just take a look. The power's fine. Um, one funny thing, if you remember, I had destroyed this road, and uh, I pressed play, and I hadn't. Um, I think part of the reason I was losing so much money, I did not reconnect this road. So for a long time, my city was without power, but. That's been remedied. We're running at an excess. Everything's fine. Water, we're still in the green. I might throw in another uh, another filtration pump since we're not, I like to be, you know, way down here, super capacity, super excess, but that's fine for now. Doesn't really need anything. Sewage is fine, 100% treated, no issues. Uh, I don't have, I don't need any need for that. 643 of 643 being collected. Zero buildings burnt down. Two of two extinguished a day. Got two deaths per day, but um, 12 out of 25 are being treated. No patients in the waiting room. So, and I only have one ambulance. I might actually throw, actually, I'm, I am going to throw another right there. So, it's good to look at your. Uh, at your tabs here. So police, zero crime, zero criminals at large, two arrests per day, three prisoners. Do we have three prisoners? We actually have two prisoners. Sometimes, the, like I said, the grass lie. We, we do have a criminal at large. Um, and I don't think that they're just inaccurate. I think they're the stats for the previous day. So anything that happened uh, yesterday, um, 
is what will be shown. And then I think the next, you know, at midnight it resets. So it'll, it'll actually tell me one criminal at large, I think. I'm not sure. But that's that. Education is... Eh. I think I do need to throw some school buses here. I think I forgot to do that, in fact. Um, put that one there, there, and for that house, and here. That should get that going. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I don't have any public transportation, but, you know, with less than 10,000 people, I'm not even sure how necessary it really is. And they've stopped harassing me about wealthing up. There are, the demands are, I mean, everything's great. There are some medium jobs unfulfilled, so there's a demand for medium wealth. But if you look at the, at the wealth distribution, we have a large chunk of medium here, a large chunk of medium here. Um, I really don't want to do too much medium or else I feel like a lot of the low wealth jobs are going to get replaced. And let's just take a look at our detail here. I have no unemployed. And that's beautiful. No one's commuting out. That's actually really, really good. There are available jobs for low wealth. But I think, uh, I think these are going to fix themselves once these actually start going into high density. So I'm actually not going to worry about that either. But I think we fixed everything, and uh, considering I'm making about 400,000 simoleons a month, I mean, shoot. I mean, I don't know what to say. What else to say besides things are great? I do want to take a quick look at this, though. Uh, we are... Mining around 260 and a half tons a day. Actually, we've unlocked Metals HQ, so that's kind of nice. Uh, profits overall, uh, 173 a day, 173,000 a day, minus the four that I think is for the um, the oil power plant, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, things that are. I mean, things are really coming along. So, uh, I might save up a little bit of money, put down my Metals HQ. I think I might do it here. I think I might do like a really high-end commercial, commercial thing going. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, I mean, <laughs> We went from pretty much disaster with traffic jams and barely making any money to pretty much doubling my income, my hourly income, not to mention I'm making tons of money with my industry. So looks like Crimson Mining Conglomerate is in full effect, it's in full swing. So I'm going to end it here. We will check back on these guys at a later time and for... Uh, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, we might go across the river again and see what's going on over here. We got a lot of things that we, that we can still take a look at. I'm still wondering what I'm going to do with the golden goose, if I'm going to keep it or not. But such a cool little view way over here. You can see all the other towns. And I think we might head back to uh, Elysian Hill, see how those guys are doing. See if we can get that casino industry going. That'll be a, a real challenge. Um, maybe. Maybe we'll come back here and see how these guys are doing. So anyway, until next time, uh, life of a mayor continues, and I hope you'll join me next time. See you guys.